I can't believe this is the first time I've picked this card for you guys. Um, this is from my deck, Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. Um, and you see that picture on the front. Well, that's the card I picked. Um, the This is the transformation card. And it says, releasing shame and guilt. Releasing shame and guilt. I'm going to read the content on the back for you. This is your message for today. Whenever you're watching it is the right time for you to see this. And um, I do uh, sell this deck uh, that I created, Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. It's all the ways that helped me get, get rid of my addiction to alcohol, my food addiction, sugar especially, um, things like that. It can help with any addiction, even, even bad, just regular bad habits, and it can help create new habits. So if you're trying to start something new, it helps with that as well. So this is the transformation card. Oh, by the way, I do have a sale running. If you type uh, transform uh, on my website, dayonelifecoaching.com, type transform when you get to the self-help section where you'll find these cards. And I think it's $10 off. So I have that going on for a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm gonna read you your message. This card brings wonderful news. You are well along your journey of transformation and permanent change. This all started with one decision, and that decision led to actions that have kept you on this path of metamorphosis and energetic transformation. And that's true. You guys, it starts with a decision. That's how it starts, uh, that commitment to change. Okay. Never forget the reason that you started this journey. Also, do not compare your journey with others because we can only work within our own vibrational atmosphere. So don't compare yourself. The addiction was bringing you more negativity than relief, and you knew deep down that it was no longer serving you, okay? So congratulations on acknowledging a change was necessary and taking those initial steps. So wherever you are in your journey, good job. Even if you just decided today, I'm done, like maybe you had a weekend with alcohol where you broke promises to yourself, you're only gonna have two drinks and you ended up overdoing it, ended up ruining one of your days with a hangover, and today is your day one. Well, congratulations. This card is a reminder that all emotions are valid and healthy, so do not beat yourself up on the days that you were not vibing as high. Everyone has negative feelings at times. It's just part of being human. Allow your negative feelings, observe them without judgment. The key is to notice the guilt, notice the shame, and even the grief you might feel. It is natural to miss people, behaviors, and substances, even though they were not healthy for you. So that's a good point there. Um, we can be in a toxic relationship, which is also a huge addiction. I actually get um, a lot of clients who come to me for relationship addiction, toxic relationship, like they can't get out because it's a codependent situation and um that's you know that can be just as harmful to a person as some a substance like alcohol okay so the good news is that you are now moving beyond your addiction without remaining stuck in those feelings witness them but do not judge them you can have negative emotions and be okay with them soon you will be able to bless them and gently release them with love so releasing the guilt and shame associated with addiction is an essential part of your transformation. Your addiction has been an excellent teacher. It's been your teacher, a master teacher, in fact. Definitely my addictions were. You have experienced the bondage of addiction and now you deserve to appreciate the freedom and the strength that you have gained from breaking free of your past. You have truly reached a shift in consciousness and your energetic transformation will bring many, many blessings. You deserve to be happy. So you guys, it starts with that one decision, that one decision that you're done, that your addiction's no longer serving you, whether it's a person who keeps dragging you down, whether it's um, like, like a codependent relationship, whether it's a substance, whether it's food. What, you know, sometimes it's work. Sometimes people just get so caught up in work. And what an addiction is, is anything that is affecting your life in a negative way, but you can't stop. You're having a hard time stopping. And I say like, if it's something that you can't let go of for a week, 
uh, it's probably an addiction, you know, or at least a bad habit um, that you want to get back into check, right? Sometimes addictions are just bad habits that have gone awry. And, you know, don't, don't get caught up on labels. I never say I'm an alcoholic. I do not say that. I am a person who used to have an unhealthy, a, an unhealthy relationship with alcohol. So it's when we say I am something, it's very powerful. We are in creation mode and I'm not going to create that. I've changed my identity. I don't count the days. I do know it's been going on five years because I quit on my friend's birthday, but I don't count days because I'm not going to start again. I've changed my identity. So you guys, um, I hope this made sense to you. Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you're on a platform where I could put a live link, I will put the link to my card so you could use them at home if you'd like to, if you're going through that and you'd like some self-help, you just pick a card every morning and follow the guidance for the day and um, it will raise your vibration. And when we get our vibration raised, that really helps us just get these addictions to fall away. When we raise our vibration, we don't, we make better choices, right? One bad choice leads to another, but one good choice leads to another good choice. So, and I'm proof of that, you guys. I drank for over 30 years. No one would have ever thought that I would quit. So I am proof. There's tons of evidence. There's tons of people who have quit. And um, I don't go to AA. I just uh, do the law of attraction techniques. And that's what worked for me. So I know it can work for you too. All right, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day.